Hi, welcome to new episode of Project Ross and William, and today's video we're working again on the K20 Top Patrol 205. In the previous video, you saw me uh, pull out the K20 because uh, they're gonna get some stuff done. I already got some stuff done, by the way. I cleaned out the engine bay a little bit. It doesn't look like much, but it was way worse than it was before. Uh, and I got some stuff in the mail. I was collecting some parts. And uh, this is what I've got so far. One of them I already had, but I'm not sure if I showed, but I think it did. So uh, yeah, here we go. This is my, my uh, surge tank of Swirl Pot. I got that thing off, uh, off eBay. Probably will work great. This is my Magneti Morelli 3 bar OEM replacement fuel pump. Not sure for what model the car this is, but this will probably work because the K20 will run on 3 bar. It was very cheap though, so I was going to try this one first before I want to, you know, I don't want to spend too much money just yet because the power of the K20 will not go up for quite a while. I need to still work out balanced things, so 3 bars probably going to be just fine. And this D1 spec used, uh, what's this thing called? Oil catch can. I already had this, not sure if I've shown it in the previous videos, but uh, we'll see about that. And the content of this box will be revealed in his own video, because that's not going to be in this, because it's something else. But uh, yeah, so the plan is in this video, I'm not sure if I actually, uh, well, the point is, stuff done engine bay wise that stuff that box over there is not engine bay stuff uh, so yeah clean it out and now i'm going to uh, well mount up the oil catch can and uh, the swirl pot because that needs to be done this if you remember i had this oil slushing oil the fuel flushing issue do not want to deal with that again so I'm going to mount, make mounts for those things first, and then I'm going to paint it uh, eventually because it needs to be sanded as well and cleaned again probably. So yeah, let's get started. So what I started doing is uh, making a bracket for the for the oil catch can. Um, yeah, this is a far off comb. It's also actually almost finished. I was going to film cutting it out, but GoPro is empty or something. So uh, or was malfunctioning i don't know but it works now so yeah this so far i'm going to make a little bend in it then i'm going to weld it up here that's where it's going to go and i took the top off you see because uh, it can be rotated and it it should be rotated like 150 degrees because uh, or else the, the the nipple will be uh was pointing the wrong direction so yeah let's uh, bend this thing up and finish it I uh, take the old catch can in place, so now I can check it out if the bolts are, you know, even accessible. Maybe I'm going to bend it out a little bit more, like that. And, uh, I'm satisfied with the result. I'm going to completely weld it in. So yeah. So yeah, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, the the bolts are reachable. It uh, happy with the location, and I decided not to put the uh, the bend in there, so it's straight. Um, yeah. Good, now I'm going to weld it up. catch can now is mounted not permanently because it's going to go get out but this is how it's going to, going to go look like uh, yeah yeah pretty satisfied with that so uh, just fasten it like okay, let's see I got some four got some more screws because it's not uh, it's properly fastened but other than that it's good satisfied so next thing on the list is of course the surge tank 
I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it, but I'm thinking of mounting it right here. Seems about right. It's a bit too close to the exhaust maybe, but I'm going to make a heat shield or something, but maybe I'm going to put a little bit higher. You know, something like that. We'll see. Okay, this is what I came up with. I'm going to do it like that. So I'm going to, I just cut this plate as you saw, I'm going to weld it in here. I'm going to drill some holes in it with probably some, what do you call this, the nut certs. So I can bolt it in there, mount it like that, trim this thing down, and it's probably going to be good. All I'm worried about is this the feed line to the engine. The exhaust. That's the only thing that I'm not sure about. So, this is how it ended up. Check it out, cut this plate. Got three in there. Decided to do just three because the last one will be in an annoying spot to reach. So, it's gonna end up like this. Mm, yeah. What we're gonna do now is uh, tack it in place. I'm not going to fully weld it in because maybe I will, maybe I disagree with it. But I'm going to tack it in to see, what, to see what it looks like and give me another thing. So this is what it is for now, and honestly I think it, it is pretty dope, yeah it looks pretty good though, and yeah, pretty satisfied with this result, um, when I'm completely decided if I'm going to keep it, I'm going to weld up completely, but already it's pretty tight though, but yeah, this, this is good, very positive. What the dirty? So I'm going to do that welding up right now and after that uh, I'm going to screw all this stuff out uh, because uh, no, I'm going to clean it and sanding so I can prep this thing for paint. So uh, let's go do that. Well, that's done, and now to unbolt all that stuff.
Also, now we're at it, we build them more holes. I'm also going to take off uh, the headlights and both fenders because uh, that will make life way easier and a bit cleaner probably so that's what I'm going to do now. Now I've moved almost everything out of the way. Only these wires are going to stay because it's just and this line because I don't want to do the brake lines again. But uh, this is how it's going to go. I'm going to clean it up even more because I got some uh, badass degreaser, you know, that detail stuff used or painters actually. So I'm going to use that and then I'm going to do a whole bunch of sanding. But first, there's one more thing I need to do. You see this hole? I'm going to make uh, like a gasket or something like like a to seal it off because I don't want to get air from the engine bay into this hole. Uh, I have to make like an aluminum flange on there so which I can connect to the to the exhaust. That's going to make that, I'm going to make that first. Uh, yeah so I'm going to do that right now. Uh, it's going to take some measuring but I'm not going to bother you with how I do with all this paper stuff and blah blah blah. I'm just Probably going to show you when I cut it and little clips and I'm going to show you the final product. Right, let's go. This is basically also going to sit. Uh, yeah, the gasket for the well, flange for the seal for the exhaust. Uh, I made it from like one no half a mil alumin alum aluminium. And if it doesn't really fit, I can always make a like cut in it or bend it quite easily. So that's why I put it this way. Uh, the holes are not yet going to be drilled, but I'm not sure how it's going to sit. But basically, like this. This is uh, the final product. It, it, it looks a bit crap, but you know it, that's how it's gonna go. Um, I, I, at first, I wanted to place it and then drill holes in it uh, so I can paint in it, but I decided against it for some reason. But when I want to drill the holes, <laughs> I want to mount it immediately because getting this thing in here and out of there is pretty annoying and difficult. So, like, you know what? I'm going to plan, put it in permanently. Airflap main and drill the holes, I don't give a fuck. So yeah. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to actually start sanding the damn thing because I already cleaned it.
So I just uh, finished with the cleaner and actually it is a lot better, especially here on the sides. It's not perfect, but when I'm going and start sanding, it's going to look uh, way more presentable and way better for painting. Um, of course, it's going to be white, this is the rest, and also this silver and red shit is also getting white. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's, yeah. So, yeah, at this point I realized the video is probably going to be quite long. And yeah, I was right. Uh, I'm, I'm editing it right now, and at this point I'm already almost 19 minutes in. And uh, I haven't even started sanding yet. So uh, I decided to, to cut it short here, and the next will be in the in, in the next video. There will be uh, sanding and do some more welding, surprise, and uh, of course the painting. So yeah, hope you're looking forward to it. Hope you'll see you in the next one. Like us if you want to see more, and see you in the next one. Later. So thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And talk to you about more. You can click on one of these two videos to see uh, see to see some more from the channel. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Later.